Boogie2988 is a 49-year-old man dating a 20-year-old girl that was previously known to be the Mr. Rogers of the internet. Now, this could still be true if Mr. Rogers banged more prostitutes and Boogie2988 could prove he has cancer. I think everybody pretty much knows the story by now. Destiny, a well-known streamer, confronted Boogie on his podcast over the validity of him having cancer or not. And when confronted and even given the offer of $5,000, which that pot went up to as high as seven thousand dollars by the end of the conversation with multiple different people boogie refused between two different live streams on his own podcast that spans multiple hours of footage at this point to give any information that would provide evidence that he actually has cancer now as i'm sitting down to edit this video boogie has just gone live for a third time sitting against a very dark depressing background because he's so ashamed that he lied about having cancer who gives a f boogie you lied about having cancer. Oh my God, I'm so shocked. Listen, I'm just gonna run the video now as it is. Boogie keeps changing the story, but in this video, we're gonna go over some of the more egregious and obvious examples of Boogie lying about having cancer. Some of these lies he's still trying to push with his current story today. The camera Boogie and say, Jackson Clark was right about everything and I'm a disgusting liar. Uh, Jackson Clark was right about everything. Uh, he w well, he wasn't entirely, but uh, I'll say it anyway. Jackson Clark was right about everything. Jackson Clark was right about everything. Jackson Clark was right about everything. Now, within those hours and hours of footage of Boogie denying that he's been lying about having cancer, he's also provided multiple contradicting statements that would leave any rational human being to come to the most logical possible solution here, that Boogie has been lying about having cancer for going on two years now. Now listen, I don't think I need to tell you that having cancer is a serious thing, and if you lie about having cancer, you are a bad person, and Boogie2988 is a bad person if he's been lying about having cancer. Listen, all right, Boogie's probably going to hell. Boogie is probably legitimately evil, and given the information that we've been provided, I personally believe that you are a idiot if you have not come to the conclusion by now that Boogie is lying about having cancer. That is just my personal opinion, but Jesus Christ. It has been documented for years now that Boogie is a habitual liar. The man has been caught in so many lies that this would just be another one. This wouldn't be a grand revelation that Boogie is a liar. This would just be another instance of him lying about something super serious. One of the best videos that I can recommend to you going over how Boogie is a liar is actually done by a well-known Boogologist online, a self-proclaimed neuroscientist by the name of Big Bungie. Now, Bungie actually was able to call into LolCal Live, but unfortunately, he was kicked right away for having quality issues and in my opinion it was really just because Bungie's also made a video speaking about Keemstar the guy who owns the show negatively and Keemstar was just looking for an excuse to make Bungie look like an asshole now fortunately I was actually able to track down Big Bungie and bring him onto the show so he can tell you about the point he was trying to make before Keemstar rudely kicked them off the podcast what, what, what were you trying to say on lolcow before Keem kicked you off because he's salty about the video you made on him. You're asking me what Bungie was about to say. I mean, I don't know, man. It like seems like Boogie's whole cancer thing is full of shit, but also his abuse is just as bullshit because every time he talks about the scar on his head that he got from his mommy, it all of a sudden changes places, just like his fucking cancer. First it's in his blood, then it's in his balls, now it's in his asshole. Who fucking knows? He's full of shit. Yeah, I just, I. I just cannot make out, I don't know if it's the mic or the accent, but I just, I cannot understand a word you're trying to say to me right now. Accent? I mean, I don't have an accent. I'm speaking fucking normal. Man, that bungee guy, he's funny, but let's get into the cancer stuff. <sighs> Turns out I got a rare blood cancer called polycythemia vera, which basically makes your body produce too many red blood cells. Hold on, hold on, wait, Boogie, in this video that's almost two years old, you are claiming to have what? I got a rare blood cancer called polycythemia vera. So the takeaway here is that in Boogie's first video ever talking about his cancer, he claims to have, to have a form of cancer known as polycythemia vera. And then after that, we had years now of Boogie using his cancer as an excuse, but we're gonna skip through all of the other examples and get right to the most recent. When Boogie was called out for promoting a cryptocurrency, he claimed that he had to do it because he needed the money for cancer 
treatments. I confronted Boogie2988 on a crypto pump and dump he did where he got paid $10,000 to promote a coin. He then told me, well, you know, basically he's paying for cancer, so he can't pay that money back. He even went as far as to say that he is currently fighting cancer. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. The problem here is that when Destiny began to push Boogie in all of this live, he claimed that he needed this money, or at least a portion of this money, to help pay for a procedure to confirm that he has cancer. This is in direct contradiction to the first video Boogie ever posted on the topic where he claimed that he has cancer, then since then claiming that he's been paying for cancer treatments, and then even more recently than that, him claiming that he has been fighting cancer. Um, well, then can you why, would he call it, why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it. Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, bone marrow biopsy to confirm it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. Because the markers are in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood, Destiny. Correct. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me you got a, a bone marrow biopsy. It's a diagnosis, and now we're confirming. It's called a sure. confirmation. The, the sure. hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. And so I think we are confirming it with the biopsy because I'm yeah. wanting to do that because I'm praying to God I don't f***ing have cancer. He doesn't care. See, and that right there is pretty much why I wanted to make this video in the first place, because Boogie says a whole lot of nothing with a lot of words. Destiny is simply pointing out that it's really weird that you would still be doing procedures and looking to do procedures to prove that you have cancer when two years ago you already told us it was confirmed and even went as far as to say that you're battling cancer. Now this goal post is shifting to, well, I'm just trying to confirm it for myself because I'm praying to God that I don't have cancer. I, I mean, this really should have been where it was over. He just said it right there. He, for the past two years, has not known whether or not he's had cancer has been and has been running around as if he's had it. Okay, he's been lying. And I do got to say this about Boogie. He's got the gift of the gab. In a very short time, he's able to come up with very seemingly detailed stories that can explain away anything in the whole world. The problem is, in just a four-hour podcast, a lot of these stories start to contradict one another, like I've already shown you. And if you go back for two years... Uh, this the whole thing just starts to really not make any sense at all. But, you know, it's not entertaining to just stop it there, so they didn't, and neither will we. Now, the next thing that happens, which I already talked about briefly, is a pool of money begins to come together from different people that all are chipping in to this pool of money that's to go to Boogie if he's able to provide someone privately just enough information to confirm to them that he truly has cancer. Now this is like people go from this and they're like, oh, they're blackmailing him into giving up his medical information. Here's the thing with Boogie and his medical information. In the duration of this podcast, he literally claims to read verbatim his medical diagnosis. History of hyperlidemia, scarring of skin, blood pooling in veins, varicose veins of leg with complications, polycythemia vera, degeneration of lumbar or lumbaroscal intervertebral disc, history of basal cell carcinoma, asthma. So you so you added the vera part? That's the f***ing dumbest shit I've heard. Then they bring freaking Medicare on who has cancer and even he doesn't understand what the hell Boogie's talking about. And Boogie, all he has to do is prove it. He's got the paperwork right in front of him. All he has to do is show the internet that he actually does have this and he refuses to do it. Well, yep. and here's the thing, because I, I did a stream, you know, because I had people saying, oh, you're faking cancer, Jim. So I showed my diagnosis and stuff like that. I'm going to guess he's working on a system similar to Epic, which most medical people do. Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to go right into diagnoses and it's going to list everything that a doctor's ever said you had. Yep, I just read it to him. Okay, and so it lists the cancer there? Yes. Okay, so you could screen cap that and just show it. I mean, that's what I did, and that would be the end of it. Absolutely. And I made the decision two years ago that I would not do that, and I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of fucking privacy I have left. Well, no, I, I, and he, he but wait, there's more. At this point, if you haven't been too distracted by TikTok, you know that Boogie has claimed that he has his portal up. He's reading his portal. The portal says that he has polycythemia vera, the cancer version of polycythemia. Well, this all goes out the window when they go live next, where he directly contradicts all of that as well. I'm losing my mind.
What is taking so long? Boogie, send Boogie. me this Boogie. fucking thing. I'm trying to again. I fuck. I almost dox myself. But this is a god. This portal is not that easy. He's never said might. He says we are treating you for this cancer. But it's not in your portal. We, He's not putting I it understand. on your portal. I understand. It's my. It's my understanding. And uh, 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 Mr. Mr. It's right here. I can show this to them right now. I'm reading it to you right now. I swear to God, I'm reading it to you right now. I. I. I can't. I can't I can't I can't find it. This is really hard. <laughs> Liar. Another fun thing that I wanted to throw in here is the fact that when he was originally confronted by Destiny, he claimed that he wanted to do a GoFundMe because they would make him verify his cancer to be able to do a GoFundMe for it. This is you know, one of the reasons I was trying to do a GoFundMe. This is one of the reasons I'm going to do a GoFundMe was because they verify for the record. They verify. This actually hurts my brain. He's trying to use the fact that GoFundMe, a service that he did not use, verifies before you can do GoFundMe's for cancer, but then he wouldn't go ahead and do the GoFundMe. So what stopped you, Boogie? And this gets even worse when he brings it up again in the next live show. I know. And I came this close to uh, just doing a GoFundMe, which verifies, by the way. Um, and one of the reasons I didn't is because number one, I don't want your money. I've never wanted your wait, money. Wait, 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 time out, time out. Yeah, yeah, time out. Remember the beginning of my video you're watching right now in between scrolling TikTok? Remember his excuse to CoffeeZilla for why he couldn't give money back to his fans and why he had to take money from his fans in the first place through the crypto coin was because he needed the money? He was willing to take their money? But no, 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 no. He's not willing to take their money on GoFundMe where the only barrier to entry is him proving he has cancer. That's just ridiculous. He doesn't need your money, but he does need your money when it comes to the crypto scam. Then he does need your money and is willing to take it. This this guy's a freaking liar, dude. Everything is a lie. You made a do a go do a GoFundMe and put the goal for a hundred dollars. No, then I then you would have to verify with GoFundMe. I don't want to share yeah, my yeah, medical records with I, them get, either. Why? Can I, I don't can want I get, to share my medical records with any living human. Go f Even this whole narrative that Boogie's trying to spin, that he made some type of moral commitment to himself two years ago to never share his medical information is a bunch of lies. It eventually got leaked that right before the LolCal live stream where Destiny confronted Boogie on his cancer, Boogie reached out to Destiny claiming that if Destiny would have just asked, Boogie would have provided him enough medical information to prove that he did indeed have cancer. So this whole narrative, every time you hear him say it, that there's this commitment he made two years ago to never share his medical information, it's a load of horse shit. It's, it's, it's lies. More lies. Everything is lies. It's hours and hours of lies spinning and spinning. It's enough to make you go nuts. Hey, Dario, did you not message me and say, do you have polycythemia secondary or something like that? Boogie, That's did right. you not tell Destiny that if he asked you the night before, you would have sent him the medical records? Probably, yeah. I'm not so are you going to send it to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you're yeah, not fucking... Listen, all I'm trying to say is, with all this information, all these stories that aren't lining up, how could you not come to the rational assumption that Boogie2988 has been lying about having cancer for the past two years? That's it. I have a headache. Free Big Bungie. You, Boogie. Good night. Casey Tron is a 33-year-old Twitch streamer that's become part of the most incestual, manipulative group of people to ever infect the online landscape. These people both help keep her relevant and hold her back at the same time.